हेलो क्लास सेवन स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ योर चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स वर्फ टेंस सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड इन माई लास्ट टू वीडियो प्रेजेंट टेंस एंड पास टेंस ऑफ दिस चैप्टर एंड दिस इज द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ दिस चैप्टर सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कम्प्लीट द फ्यूचर टेंस एंड इन दिस वे दिस चैप्टर विल कम्प्लीट टोटली सो लेट्स सी वट इज फ्यूचर टेंस वट इज गिवन इन योर बुक नाउ here the future may be expressed using this three commonly used form of the verb i will cook tonight i will be cooking at 7 i will have cooked by 7 pm so as i told that like present tense and past tense have their four forms of the verb in the same way this is this future tense also have their has their four forms of the verb the fourth one you will get in the next chapter means all the fourth form of the verb of present past and future will be in the next chapter so in this chapter we will learn only the three that is simple present or uh, uh, sorry simple future future continuous and future perfect so what is given here uh, about simple future so the simple future the sentence i will cook tonight is in the simple future tense and the use of simple future when we have to use simple future what is simple future tense it is used to express actions yet to take place in the time that will come yet to take place means the action which will which is going to take place in the time in the coming time in the coming time means in the future time means the future action so simple future means the future action the action which will happen in the future those actions will come under simple future tense now here in this uh, box here the three form of writing the simple future is given positive negative and interrogative so uh, let's see this one properly see in si future tense that is in simple future tense how to write positive form so basically in the three form of verb okay in the three form of verb we have the category of simple present right we have the category of simple past and the third one is past participle but there is nothing for future right like for example uh, do did done so this is written in the base form this is called base form uh, or you can say simple present this is written in simple past past tense of past form of do is did and the past participle form of do is done but there is no uh, column for future this is not future right so now in future which one we can use we cannot use this one okay we cannot use this one so can we use this one can we use let's see so the formula of writing a simple future sentence is subject will be there it can be noun it can be pronoun right then after we have to definitely we have to give will shall without will shall you cannot express future right and then after we have to use the base form of the verb the base form of the verb means the first verb okay first form of the verb base form of the verb means first form of the verb means this one so yes we have to use this verb and along with this you have to use this will or shall to express the future okay so keep in mind that we have to use base form of our for example i shall go to school so see i is subject shall with i we have to use shall with first person and second person pronoun we have to use shall with third person pronoun like he she it we have to use will that is the small uh, use of will or shall then after go go is the base form of go right then after to to school this is additional so this is the format and according to this format i have written the example now how to write negative sentence so this is positive sentence negative negative means you have to add not and i already told the not always goes with auxiliary verb so here will shall here there is no auxiliary verb but yes we can use not with model verbs too so will shall is a model verb and after this we have to use not and then the same 
first form of verb for example if i will use the same example then i shall not go to school simple right interrogative sentence interrogative question sentence is also very easy i already told change the place of subject and the auxiliary verb here there is no auxiliary verb here model verb is given then change the place of the subject with this model verb so will shall then after subject if you are using not then not will be here and then after the first form of verb when your question is ready for example i will give another example using will will he go to school okay if not is there negative question will he not go to school but you cannot use will not or won't he go to school you cannot use not with he, this one in question sentence you have to leave not after the subject only you have to put this will shall forward uh, here here so this is the way we write simple future tense now let's move to future continuous the future continuous tense the sentence i will be cooking at 7 is in the future continuous tense i will be cooking at 7 means 7 am or pm whatever it is uh, it is a future time okay so the person is going to cook in the future time means at 7 what action is going to happen what action will be continuing that is future continuous tense so future continuous tense is used to express what will be happening at a certain time in the future at particular time in the future whatever the action will be going on okay for example after 2 hours you are going to uh, write Uh, the notes you are going to write you are going to write the notes so i will be writing my notes after 2 hour or i will be writing my notes uh, at uh, suppose uh, 11 am 12 uh, pm right like that okay so 11 am 12 pm will be your future time okay so in that future time whatever the action will be going on that action will be well come under future continuous tense now let's see how to write a sentence in future continuous tense so this is the uh, format given for positive negative and interrogative okay let's see so how to write a sentence in positive form of for future continuous sorry i forgot to write future continuous here future continuous tense so subject will come okay to show future we have to use will shall and then after we have to use this word be and the verb will be in ing form that's it for example they will be coming by next monday next monday is our future time so in this future time what action will be going on they will be coming now negative negative means we have to use not and where we will use not subject plus will shall and obviously after the model verb you have to use not so you no need to think where you have to use not wherever you will get model verb wherever you get auxiliary verb with that you have to use not so this is our model verb so with this we will use not not after this we cannot use not here we cannot use not here we cannot use here also right and then verb will be in ing form same way he will not be writing he will not be writing interrogative same interrogative my formula change the place okay will shall plus subject if not is there then not will be not will remain here be and verb in ing form for example will he be coming this sunday this sunday means this next sunday question mark sorry question mark if not negative sentence then use not here okay oh sorry not here not here 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 so this is all about future continuous tense and the way of writing the sentence in future continuous tense 
Now let's move to future perfect tense. The future perfect, the sentence I will have cooked by 8 p.m. is in the future perfect tense. Now, the future perfect tense is used to express an action or event that started in the past or uh, starting now or will start to uh, will start sometime in the future and will also be completed some future time means future perfect tense means the action it the its starting time is whatever doesn't matter its starting time means maybe the action started in the past suppose yesterday or maybe the action started today in the present time or maybe the action may start tomorrow also but it will complete in the future time it will complete in the future time a definite point of time that is simple future tense means i will have cooked by 8 maybe uh, maybe i started cooking uh, today suppose if i am cooking uh, something like lots of dishes uh, so obviously i cannot complete by one day so i i it may take uh, two to three days time okay suppose or i may start cooking tomorrow okay but by 8 pm uh, by tomorrow 8 pm i will finish it okay so that is future perfect tense means whenever the action start doesn't matter past present or future but it will complete in the future time so how to write a sentence in simple uh, in future perfect tense so perfect means you have to use have and third verb this is compulsory perfect means have form of verb and with that have form of verb we have to use third verb now under have form of verb we have three things like have has and had so already you got that have and has is used in present tense and had is used in past tense now for future what we will use let's see so here the formula is subject will shall obviously will shall have to be here then after we have to use have form of verb right but for future what we have to use because have and has is used for present and had is used for past so here we will only use have for future we only have have okay have and then after third verb which is compulsory third verb okay for example she will have completed her work by thursday maybe thursday is the next coming uh, week in the coming time okay future time so she will have completed it is written in third form of complete okay negative means you have to use not until now i think you have a good idea of where to use negative isn't it so here we use negative after shall not and then have and then third verb so same example she will not have completed the work by thursday interrogative so interrogative means change the place of this and this this one also i think you got a good idea of making interrogative sentence so i have given you the shortcut of making and not then not will come here and then again have and then after third verb for example will he have done done is the third form of do done his work by monday okay and if you have to use not use not here after the subject here so this is all about future tense so i have completed here all the future tense okay so let's see the next page so question number e rewrite this sentence to express the future as directed so whatever is given in the bracket so according to this instruction you have to change the sentence if it is given here negative so you have to make this sentence negative if it is given you have to change to future perfect tense then you have to change to future perfect tense so they will be ready by 8 pm so you have to change this in negative so i already told that you have to use not with model verb so which one is model verb they will will after will you have to use not so they will not be ready by 8 pm the skies will be clearing by next week you have to write this in future perfect so will be clearing 
will be clearing so just you have to keep in mind that what is the format what is the formula of uh, future perfect future continuous so will have plus third verb right so will have third verb means will have third verb of clear is cleared so the skies will have cleared by next week so to do this first of all you have to memorize the formula of tense which is very very important okay the ship will dock soon right in future continuous so will dock is the verb so you have to change this into continuous continuous means ing so will plus b plus ing will be docking aunt will be staying with us for a week change into interrogative so i already told how to change interrogative very very simple change the subject and will right so will aunt then this will not come here as will goes at the first place will aunt be staying with us for a week and then put a question mark and your question is ready so in this way you have to do the rest of the question please students try to do the rest of the question by your own until and unless i share answers with you uh, practice is very very important until and unless you do practice you cannot do anything properly so please do practice by your own first okay next move to number f number f is again very easy you have to rewrite this sentence about bowling user using simple form simple present form of the verb means whatever the verb are here find out and change it into simple present tense so simple present tense is very easy for example the game of bowling was played indoor here the verb is was okay so was will the simple present tense of was is is in this sport a player threw or rolled a ball toward a target so threw is verb rolled is also a verb which is written in past tense so the present tense of threw is throw rolled is roll ed will not get removed right the ball rolled down a straight line so here the verb is rolled so again roll but here s will come because if you remember that in simple present tense we have to play with s and es with i v u they and plural name we cannot use s e s with he she it and singular name we have to use s or e s so this is a singular name so that's why rolls okay they wear their wear 10 pins position at the end of the lane now their wear wear will change to r so in this way do the rest okay which is very very easy so at least you do uh, till number f okay rest on of the answer i will share with you later uh, at least i want you to do all the exercise from a to f by your own okay so for today this much and in this way i have finished the chapter thank you